problem at the moment is that our usage and our manufacture of plastic is really increasing. Although a lot of it's reused and recycled, actually the majority of this is ending up within the environment as waste and as litter. Plastics bring many benefits to society. It's not plastics that are the enemy here, it's the way we choose to use them. They allow us to put literally trillions of items of product on the marketplace all the way around the world. But it's clear we're using too much in the wrong way and it's getting to the oceans and other parts of the environment and poisoning them. One of the features that was once very attractive, their durability, has now become something of an environmental problem for us to think about. Now these smaller pieces, the microscopic pieces, are everywhere in the marine environment too. We've found them in Arctic sea ice, we've found them thousands of metres beneath the sea surface on the deep seabed, as well as finding them on coastlines all around the globe. What the NERC funded research is doing is allowing us to look in the laboratory at what the consequences of really, really small nanoscale pieces of plastic debris might be. So my area of research is specifically freshwater microplastics. A lot of the particles that I've found have been microfibres, so those are the small scale fibres that would shed off synthetic fabrics. I've also found particles of road marking paints, and also another thing that's been recently recognised is tyre particles. Actually, it's really important for us to understand what effects those plastics are having. The research that we've done at Plymouth has, has informed policy, it's informed governments. Actually, globally, our research informed the recent legislation on microbeads in cosmetics, uh, also informed the legislation on single-use carrier bags. Research and innovation, sound science is vital to build a new plastics economy. We have to think about simplifying the number of polymers we use. Now that's incredibly challenging in terms of technology. We need brilliant science to underpin that journey ahead of us. So through my academic research, we discovered a series of catalysts that allow carbon dioxide to be co-polymerized to make plastics. You can take waste carbon dioxide gas and you can make a polymer where every other unit came from CO2. So it's an example of how fundamental academic research can lead to new ventures and new businesses. And we hope very much more sustainable products for the consumer. The new plastics economy is about a radically better approach to the environment. It's also about making money in a better way in the future. And that's where the UK's world-class science base, NERC, has got a real opportunity to underpin the shift that we make.